Norway exports a lot of fish and a lot of oil, but few people know that we also export gender equality. Gender equality is a prerequisite for reaching the sustainability goals, and it's also about fundamental human rights. Over the years, many countries have contacted Norway to learn from our experiences with uh, female labour participation and with equal rights. Thus, in 2017, uh, we established the Development for Gender Equality programme to cooperate peer-to-peer -peer with partners in other countries. I work for the Norwegian Agency for Children, Youth and Family Affairs. And we have two country programmes. One is in Ethiopia, the other one is in Nepal. And we work peer-to-peer -peer with our colleagues in the ministries responsible for gender equality. What we do more concretely is that we have workshops and courses. And through these processes, we capacity build staff in the ministries to be able to produce gender equality knowledge that is user-friendly, accessible for the public, the media and for decision makers. As part of the Gender Equality for Development programme, Norway has launched a high-level forum making gender equality work. Norway invites a select number of countries to learn from our experience in how we've achieved a high level of labour force participation amongst women. Research has shown that the contribution from human resources is much higher than the contribution from the petroleum sector to the Norwegian economy. Today, women comprise about half the labour force in Norway. Due to the ongoing corona pandemic, Norway will now launch a digital version of the High Level Forum in 2021. Argentina participated in the High Level Forum Making Gender Equality Work because we wanted to learn and exchange experience with Norway on gender equality policies. In my experience, the High Level Forum was very positive and I highly recommend it. And I am very happy that I was part of the first pilot forum in Oslo in 2019.